Hi, I'm Diana DeRosa, and I'm speaking with Jerry Thompson, who lives in Tennessee and is the producer of the documentary short film, The Secret of Corolla, and certainly is a secret. What a wonderful place. So talk a little bit about why you decided to do this film. Well, I was born close to the Outer Banks. I spent a lot of time there as a young person. It's a very special place to me. Um, but I think the reason that I made the film was I had a history teacher once that taught me that the reason we studied history is so we could learn about the things that we did right and repeat those things. And the things that we did wrong, we didn't want to repeat those things. <laughs> and uh, the Outer Banks has been for the past 20 years under really a whole lot of pressure, um, pressure to uh, develop it. And uh, that's squeezing in, squeezing in on the, on the habitat for these wild horses. And uh, um, I think I just wanted to kind of remind everybody what a special place it is. So that's, that's pretty much why I made the film. Yeah. You know, anytime you do something like this, it always takes a long time. But you always take away something that you'll always remember. And it could be one thing or a couple of things. So what are some of your takeaways? Um. I think I underestimated the uh, passion of the people there. Those people are so passionate. They, they've made it their life's work. The people at the Corolla Wild Horse Fund, they are, they are menches. They just, it's 24-7. I don't know how they do it. And then there's people that have bought private land up there, built houses. It's, they're just so passionate about protecting their ecosystem up there. That, I, I underestimated that. They are really, really into it. So. Wow. Yeah. And, and no surprise because they love those animals. They sure uh, do. I have to say the saddest moment for me, though, was um, losing the stallion. I mean, that, was, that was really tough. And it must have been, you know, obviously you shared that it's tough on the community. But I, I bet you, you heard more about that from people how close they had gotten to that stallion and then to see that happen. He was the favorite of the community. And I think it took that, it took that event to really, uh, for people to make that sacrifice of really, really protecting them and developing that, that uh, wild horse uh, sanctuary on that, on that 11 mile stretch of the island up there. Wow. Yeah. And that was a wonderful thing that came out of all of that. And so beautiful and, only four wheelers get to go and all that good stuff. So, oh, yes. I want, <laughs> I, I want to thank you, Jerry, for joining me. Do you have any last words you'd like to say? Um, just that if, if anyone's interested in helping those people up there, uh, the Corolla Wild Horse Fund folks up there, uh, they can go to their website and, um, and uh, they've, they've got all sorts of opportunities and information for you there. It's uh, CorollaWildHorses.com. Well, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful story. And I'm Diana DeRosa reporting for the Equus Film and Arts Fest and for Equus Television Network. And thank you again, Jerry, for chatting with me. Thank you.